When you look back, mm. uh, how do you think uh, women have fared in science and technology through the years? Well, in my field, there's been a, a big improvement. So, and Santa Cruz is a leader in this. Uh, I mentioned that we've established this chair for Vera Rubin in her honor, the only one in the country. Uh, it's a chair designed to promote diversity, which includes women in our department. Our department has been more than 50% graduate students of our women for many years now. Santa Cruz is really famous for this. We have another program there, which I helped to found, called the Osterbrock Leadership Program. And it's especially attractive to women. The majority of people in this, these are for PhD students to learn leadership schools skills. Uh, it's, it's very interesting that women seem to be more interested in that than our male students at that stage. I think women, more than men, look forward many years. I think my impression is that men are, especially younger, more day by day. But women are aware of their biological clock. I think we're built in with a long sense of time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Were you always so relentless and clear-eyed? Well, who knows what I was like when I was five. <laughs> I don't Let's know. not go back to five, but... I would say in high school, when I began to be a serious student, that streak began to show up, yes.